In the previews video, we learned that in the isometric view, the X and Y axis are drawn at 30 degree angle to the horizontal, and you will use the T square and the 30 degree triangle to draw them. And the Z axis is vertical line. Also, you will be using the T square and triangle to draw vertical lines. But in order to make this video easier to understand, I will not use those tools. Instead, I will be tracing the lines on this isometric grid. So whenever I draw a line like this, you already know that it is at 30 degree angle to the horizontal and a length of three centimeters. And a line like this is a vertical line with a length of three centimeter as well. Now I will explain how to draw a circle in isometric view and how to draw a cylinder in different positions. A circle in 2D is just a circle, but in 3D isometric view, the circle looks like an ellipse. To better understand why it looked like an ellipse, when you look at a cup of coffee, for example, you can see that the top of the cup is an ellipse shape. But if you look at the same cup from a top view, you can see it as a circle, but you can't see the height of the cup. But please keep in mind that there is difference between human eye view or perspective view and isometric view. I will explain this more in another video. Now the question is how we can draw this ellipse. It is very simple and I will show you how. Let's draw a circle of diameter four centimeter. First draw a square four by four centimeter. Now divide this square into four parts like this. In the 2D view, all the interior angles of the square is 90 degree. While in the isometric view, there are two obtuse angles and two acute angles. I will refer to those two points as the two obtuse angles. Now using the obtuse angle, connect two lines like this. Do the same in the opposite angle as well. Now using the compass and the obtuse angles as the center, draw two arcs like this. Now using those two points as the center, draw two arcs like this. That is it. Simple, right? Now I will repeat those steps, but this time I will draw the circle in two different positions on those two faces. Those are the three different positions of a circle that you will need in isometric drawings, and the method is the same in all of them. Now let's see how to draw a cylinder. We will draw a cylinder of radius four centimeter and a height of five centimeter. Like before, I will draw a square, four by four centimeter. And this time I will add a height of five centimeter. So now the distance between those two squares is five centimeters along the z-axis. Now using the method I just explained, I will draw a circle in both squares, the top and the bottom. Finally, we need to connect those two circles to form a cylinder. But first, we need to find the connection points or tangent points. By connecting those two acute angles, we got those two points. Those are the tangent points. Now we can connect them to finish the cylinder. Let's remove the hidden lines or draw them as dashed lines if required. The same method is used to draw a cylinder in the other two positions. Another thing to keep in mind when drawing cylinders of smaller height, that the construction lines may overlap. Just make sure not to get confused between the lines.